All right, hi, Facebook. Good morning. We are at the Westerwell College Open House. They're at Richmond and Horton in downtown London, and we thought we'd take you on a little tour of their orthopedic technician program. We're also going to peek into their pharmacy tech program because this is brand new. Uh, Nicole, are you coming in the video at all? Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so this is Nicole. She's the admissions director here at Westerwell College. When was this all built? Uh, the summer. This summer. Yeah. So these are like the students that will be starting in September. This is like the first people to be in these classrooms. I uh, know we have students in here now. Right. Of course. Yeah. However, with students starting, it's it's a brand new facility. So these classrooms like have been used for like maybe two weeks. Absolutely. All right. So they still have like that new classroom smell. So <laughs> come on in. Can you see it's the orthopedic technician program? And if you have any questions, um, if you're watching this live stream and you have questions about Westerville College, uh, we really strongly encourage you to come into the open house. It's on till one o'clock or even come in on Monday, on Tuesday. Go to the website or, or look up the number and call because the staff here at Westerville College, they know what they're talking about. They're the experts. And sometimes it can be very daunting to think, I need to go back to school, I want to go back to school, I don't want to be in the job that I want to be in, but I don't really know where to get started. They can answer all of your questions. They have heard literally everything uh, before, so the no dumb question, but I just really want to get you excited about some of these programs. So we're gonna take you on a little tour, so come with. Come on in the orthopedic technician program. And uh, if you come on in, this is Jerry. Jerry, you're the big cheese here at Westerville College. I'm the big cheese. That's what it says on the business card. Yeah. And this is Brennan. Hello, my name's Brennan. So Brennan, why are you here? Oh, I'm at Westerville because I wanted to make my life better. So the program at Wester the program Orthotech is very good. It's very- So you're a student? Yes, I'm a student. In the Orthotech program? Yes. And you know what's really neat about this program? The only school in Canada that offers it is here at Westerville College in London. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so, so are you from London? Oh, no, I'm from Mississauga. So then I came here for the program. Wow. Okay, cool. So um, what can you tell us, Jerry, about this ortho program? Well, it's uh, relatively new for, for us. Uh, we're very excited about the program. It's less than a year. And uh, you know, the students are here every day. It is unique to, uh, to, to London, but not just London, to Ontario as well. Wow. We have students coming from overseas, yeah. not just out of town, but we have students from the Caribbean as well. We just graduated, uh, we're graduated in a class. The employment opportunities are fantastic. Yeah. A lot of hospitals and private clinics and so on. Making casts. Making casts, looking after people. Fitting braces. Repairing, helping them to repair their, their broken limbs. Learning about the human body. Learning about the human body, yeah. right? And we take care of the guys like this too, yeah. right? And so over here we have all our casting. Come for a tour, yeah. So Come Laura will take us on a tour, yeah. And these are all just some of the materials that uh, the students were working with. Brennan, do you know what this stuff is? Have you learned what this uh, is it's yet? Not yet, because I start in January, yeah. but I'm excited to learn. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Brennan can learn just for our open house. Yeah. You know? Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. And to meet you, Amanda. <laughs> I'm not sure about yeah. that. If but... you come back this way into our lab. Okay, cool, yeah. Let's go check it uh, out. It's all self contained, the classroom and the lab go together. So everything is self-contained. And uh, we've been running along. And so in here, we have the lab where they work oh, off neat. massage tables. And they, they work on all the limbs, obviously, from head to toe. And uh, over here, they have their own individual sinks. Uh, the students learn how to kind of self-contain and maintain. Uh, they have their own sink and janitor sink for cleaning up afterwards. Right. But you can see all the resources wow. and the material. Not the cleanest of professions, but uh, <laughs> a much needed profession. And if you like arts and crafts. Arts, arts and crafts? Or? Arts and crafts. I broke my arm when I was uh, in grade three. Oh, wow. And because of a great ortho tech, look it, I can do this. Absolutely. So <laughs> someone like Brennan, will, after a year, would be looking after you. You go into the hospital. And that's what's so amazing. And that's probably why you chose to come to Warstavelt College, that in less than a year, you're in that career, yeah. working, yeah. setting yourself up for a great future. Exactly. Amazing. So, so we're very excited about this program. A very hands-on, obviously. That very they... hands-on. Neat. All the different resources that they use. Students love it. When I walk into the lab, you see the students interacting with the teacher and they're putting casts on each other. They're having so much fun. And then you get to sign everyone's casts. You get to sign every cast. Right? Like, yeah. the more friends you have in school, they get to yeah. sign. But they're them. having fun and they're learning <laughs> the hands-on. And then they, cool. go from, they go from here then back to the classroom. So it's that assimilation in here, show and tell, and then in here you're actually doing it. And in case you missed it, the Ortho Tech program here at Westerville College is the only place it's offered in Ontario, in Canada? Can in Canada. Canada. Yeah. Wow, neat. In so, one year, you could be an Ortho Tech. Amazing. It's quite unique. Okay, cool. Let's go check out the pharmacy. Alari, if there's any questions, uh, shout them out. But I think we're answering all the questions, all right? Yeah. Like, high five, buddy. Yeah, thank you, Amanda. Thank no you. No problem. 
Jerry, you come with us under the pharmacy stack in there? Okay, perfect. This is neat. Okay, let's go check out. Come on, Amanda. Okay, so Nicole, do you want to introduce us to friends in here? Sure. So come on in. This is our new pharmacy tech classroom and lab. Come on in. So I'd like to introduce you, Amanda, to yep. Steve Pfeiffer and Marianne Jay. They're our pharmacy coordinators. Oh, cool. So you guys run this program? Yes. Yeah, sure. Neat. This is a cool facility. It is. Yeah. It's brand, um, new. brand new. So we... Uh, up here a couple like last month was it Mary? yeah pretty well so it simulates um, a retail a dispensary pharmacy so no 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 real drugs um, but so that it um, you know incorporates day-to-day -day workflow uh, from a retail perspective and uh, so our students yeah. love it so the pharmacy mm -hmm. technician program that means that someone will be working alongside a pharmacist right Correct. Correct. yes so uh, this is a registered pharmacy technician program. So once they become registered, uh, technicians can do a final product check, just like the pharmacists do. So we support the pharmacists so they can concentrate more on the clinical aspect, therapeutics, counseling, whereas we can now do a final check, freeze them up to do um, what they are trained to do in their scope of practice. And so when you go into a pharmacy, there's usually one pharmacist and how many pharmacy technicians? There can, depending on the size of the pharmacy, can be anywhere from one to five or six. Yeah, and, yeah. And then there's shifts too, so depending how many hours they're open. Wow. So there is a need out there. Uh, there is a need for this program? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, that's, and this is an accredited program? Yes, it is. It is. So we are recognized um, by the Ontario College of Pharmacists. And once the, our students graduate, they write their PVC examinations, their national board exams. And so we are now then um, regulated health professionals. Wow. And yeah. look at this classroom size. I don't know if you can see on the video. We're talking small classroom sizes so that you can ask those questions if you're shy and um, you know you, you can't hide, right? Like <laughs> Sue's gonna single you out. Say, excuse me, have you been doing your homework? <laughs> or if they need that coaching or a little bit more extra attention, you're here. Yes. You know, well one of the things is for them to be able to communicate so for a shy person when you kind of put them on the spot, but it's one of those skills that they have to learn. And so this is a great setting to learn it. It's smaller, you know, you're not as afraid. Mm -hmm. And so you learn how to deal with that one-on-one -on -one contact. And really, let's check out this pharmacy. Look at drop off and pick up. It really looks like a real pharmacy. And there's even the compounding stuff back there. So they're learning it all here, hands-on, which I think is amazing because then you actually kind of not just book learning, right? You, right. you remember it. I, I'm a real hands-on learner. So the bins on the counter was actually on Friday afternoon. They did some dispensing. And now we'll have to, would you like to go in? Am I allowed to go in? I don't yeah. know. I just started lifting things <laughs> sure. up, but I wasn't sure if I was allowed to. So yep. go ahead. There's no real drugs back here, so I'm allowed no. back here. If this was a real pharmacy, I don't think they'd be letting me back here. But like, yeah, so the hand, like this looks like an actual pharmacy. I love it. That's yeah. so great. And and then you guys check their workout. That's neat. Actually, we've got them checking each other too. And then I come along and do the final check and see, did they miss anything? Look at so. this. It's like we're at like Shopper's Drug Mart or something. <laughs> neat. Oh. And now there's something we can show too, because not only do you have this, what is the room next door called? It's the sterile room and it simulates hospital pharmacy. Wow. Okay, let's go check out that. So really you're learning it all here. Yeah. Um, yeah, and then yeah, you're learning it all when you come to Western Walt College with these programs. Amazing. All right, it's next door, so yeah, Sue wants to give you a little tour there. Perfect. <laughs> all right, so come on in. So this uh, simulates a hospital environment. So in hospital, they do a lot of uh, sterile technique, um, hands-on again. So there's, wow. yeah, so in there we can do non-sterile preparation, and here, here would be sterile prep. So we have our laminar uh, flow hoods and all our supplies. And we have um, a registered technician who specializes in sterile. So she does currently work in a hospital, which is one of the standards. Uh, they do have to be currently working in their field in order to teach in the program. So we have a specialized teacher just for sterile. Somebody's asked a question. Has the pharmacy program now been updated to handle medical marijuana in pharmacies? So we do have literature um, and we'll be, we will be incorporating in that into the curriculum. So there are some um, standards that we do have to look at that, but um, you know, there are new laws being uh, presented. 
So we will have to look at that. But yes, we will be talking about that in class and incorporating that into our curriculum. Awesome. And Kelly, we're at 303 Richmond Street, right on the corner of Richmond and Horton. Okay, perfect. So when someone um, graduates from this program, where are they working? Mary, go ahead. So the avenues are wide open nowadays. Um, they can work hospital pharmacy, they can work retail, they can work for the companies that provide us with the programs to do the scripts as troubleshooters because they, they understand the program. Uh, they can work for the insurance adjusters that do all the insurance, they can teach. Long-term care? Long-term care. Wow, that's yeah. my baby. <laughs> Is that your background? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay, wow. Yeah. yeah. So then for Nicole, um, in charge of admissions, so if someone is watching this going, wow, this sounds interesting, this is revolutionary, this is where I wanna be, what's the next steps for them? Call us, come and see us. 519-668-2000 is our telephone number. Visit us at westerveltcollege.com or come up to our location here at 303 Richmond Street. We'd be happy to meet with you. The admissions reps will answer all of your questions. I was talking to the admissions reps downstairs over a coffee, and honestly, like, they are just, like, the kindest friends, mm -hmm. and they answer all your questions, and, like, it was just so incredible that they were like, yeah, we can do this, and there's grants available, and there's so much information that you don't even know, and it was like a weight gets lifted off you, and you're like, hi, this is what I would like to do. Can you help me get there? And that's Absolutely. all you have to say. And then they will say, yeah, because they're the pros. They're the ones who do this all the time. So if you just come in and say, this is what I would like to do. This is my situation. How do I get there? Or even yeah. if they say, I think I'd like to explore options in this, this year, yeah. we'd be more than happy to help them. Cool. All right. So that's our little tour of Westerville Colleges. This is just two of the programs upstairs. Yes. There's so many other rooms downstairs, but these are the fancy new ones. So we wanted to show you them. But if there's other ones you want to see, just come down yourself uh, till one o'clock today or on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you know, we they're are here. here. <laughs> All right. I think that's it. There's no other questions, right? None. Perfect. Cheers. See you soon.